what we're seeing in the Black Sea now uh, does not re uh, represent a sudden change of NATO policy. Uh, there's been a change of NATO policy since 2014, really, when the Russians took Crimea and large parts of eastern Ukraine. Uh, NATO forces and allies have been uh, trying to come to terms with the what they would see as an increased Russian militarization of the Black Sea. Uh, and NATO has responded uh, very clearly, uh, boosting uh, its deployments. There is a big UK... Uh, sorry, U.S.-Ukrainian naval exercise coming up at the end of June, running for about two weeks. Uh, and I think what we've seen over recent uh, years uh, is an increased presence, both naval and aerial, uh, in the Black Sea. Uh, NATO does not want Russia uh, to have it all its own way. Uh, the Black Sea for Russia has always been a strategic crucial asset. We've known that. That goes back, back to Victorian times. It's, uh, it's its only warm water port. Uh, it's effectively its gateway into the Mediterranean, and Russia has always seen the Mediterranean as being NATO-dominated. So it's sensitive for the Russians, but it's also very sensitive for certain NATO allies, Turkey included, of course. Uh, and I think what we're seeing here is certainly a more assertive NATO posture trying to confront uh, the Russians and to persuade them uh, that the Black Sea is to be shared. It's not just Russian. It was the Russians who first broke the story and, and numerous outlets started quoting statements from the Russian Ministry of Defence saying effectively that uh, they had chased away this uh, NATO UK uh, Type 45 destroyer HMS Defender uh, sailing too close to Crimean waters, which of course the Russians now claim are Russian waters, straying inside those waters, according to the Ministry of Defence. It says that at about uh, 11 uh, 52 uh, warnings were issued local time uh, to the ship uh, at 12.06 a Russian patrol vessel according to the Russians fired several warning shots uh, towards HMS Defender uh, no change of course so nine minutes later according to the Russians uh, a Sukhoi 24 dropped four warning bombs in the path of the vessel which then changed direction and as that story started percolating on the international wires uh, that was a big deal, uh, because Russia uh, taking such aggressive action at a NATO ship, um, albeit close to uh, sensitive and contested waters off the coast of Crimea, uh, would, rec would be a significant incident. Uh, about an hour, an hour and a half later, a very much different version of the same incident, or no incident at all, came from the British Ministry of Defence, uh, saying that the ship had not been fired at. Uh, it was aware that there had been Russian gunnery exercises in the area, and they had been warned warned about them, uh, but at no point uh, had uh, bombs been dropped from a Russian plane, uh, and at no point had uh, the British ship been forced to change its course, and it sailed on. It's bound to Georgia across the other side of the Black Sea.